Hello everyone, I am Aaron Knapik and today we will be exploring Quizlet in a three-part video series to discover how it can be used to engage your virtual learners. Quizlet is an application that can be used to create vocabulary sets for your students to master the critical vocabulary in your class, first with personal practice and then playing with their classmates. With the teacher account, you are even able to track your student progress, customize and order more options. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe though and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Here's how to get started with Quizlet in our virtual world. So here's the Quizlet landing page here. Um, and as you can see in the top right corner, we have the option to log in or sign up. So I'm going to log in since I have an account um, and my credentials are saved here. So let's get logged into Quizlet. Now that we are in the Quizlet homepage, I want to show you in this video how to create a Quizlet set or diagram for your students to study and play with anywhere they are. So let's go ahead up to the top and click on create and we will click on study set. Now as a finance teacher, I'm going to insert a title and we'll just make it stocks and bonds, but you can make uh, your title sets, whatever the uh, set will be on, uh, whatever topic you are teaching about. And I'll just go ahead and put a few words in here. As you can see on the left side, this is where you are going to enter the term. And on the right side, this is where you will enter the definition. So let's just put stock here. Um, and you may have met, noticed before I even finished typing the word Quizlet was already recommending. Um, so you can click down here um, or just come over here if you've typed the word and you'll see it once again, it'll recommend even a definition. And I'll just click on this first one that works for the context of my class. So we'll just add a couple more words here and we'll just use the definitions that Quizlet provides um, because this is how easy they make it to create your study sets. So let me add this last definition here and you'll notice you can even add an image to your words in your terms. Um, you can do a bit of customizing here with the font and the color or even add your voice um, or turn off these suggestions altogether. Um, you can reorder these and even delete the card with this trash can. But let's go ahead and create this set. And it is as simple as that. Um, you'll notice here that you are uh, Quizlet prompts you to send this set as an email or you can even copy the link. Um, but if you use Google Classroom, you have a direct link for that, um, as well as for Remind and Microsoft Teams. If you do have a teacher account, you can um, add it to one of your classes as well, um, or you can also add it to one of your folders that you may have on your account. So as you can see here, we do have our completed set. Um, in the next two videos, we will talk about these study activities and play activities more in depth. But if you scroll down, you can see that here you have your terms that you entered and you have your definitions. Um, and by clicking this add or remove terms, um, you can go back into that editing screen um, and either keep adding words or delete the ones that you put in there. A couple quick options here, you can star some terms if you wanna put some more emphasis on those with students. Um, you can also here uh, use this to, to speak uh, or to have the computer speak those terms out. Um, and then you have a quick editing tool here if you just want to quickly edit the term or the definition. Uh, so what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and create a diagram so I can show you how to do that. We'll click on create study set once again, and let's go ahead and just do a simple diagram for the water cycle. This is a great feature of Quizlet and you may not have noticed um, in that last set. Here we have choose an image for adding or labeling a diagram. So we're just going to make um, a diagram here for the water cycle. Let me go ahead and click on this picture that I've already downloaded to my computer. So once you have a picture here, it is as simple as clicking where you want to add one of your words. Let's go ahead and start right here at this arrow and we'll make this one evaporation and we'll go ahead and make this one over here, condensation. And then we'll make this one over here, precipitation. And then down here, we'll make this one's collection. And you'll notice you can add a definition here, but it will not recommend a definition. Um, so for efficiency reasons, you may wanna just add the terms up here. And if you scroll down, you will simply see that your terms are now entered. And now you can click here 
and you can quickly add these definitions which will save you time. So I will go ahead and get all of these added. Make sure that the definitions are the correct ones for your class, such as this one here. And now it's as easy as this. I guess it does want me to add a language here, unlike in that last set. So we'll add this language and then we will click on create. And you'll notice here that now we have a diagram in Quizlet that our students can study with. And in the next video, we'll be talking more about these study activities um, and how your students will see things just like this to interact with and learn from these diagrams. Um, a great way for students to learn. So please come back and check out part two and three. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and also sub subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.